Hello everyone. Welcome to Financeology 101. Class is now in session. The information provided during this podcast is just that, information. You will need to do further research to address your specific situation. Enjoy the session. Welcome everyone to another session of Gifted Generations Presents Financeology 101. I'm one of your hosts, Robin Seekers, and the other host is... Elroy Seekers. Wow. Wow. Y'all hear that bass? (laughs) Bass, bass, baby, bass. (laughs) Okay, so this session, we're going to talk about what's coming up, the holidays. Right? Spend that money. All I can, when I said that, all I can envision is people just running and hustling and all through the malls and yep. shopping and just like my mother in law no. say, shop till you drop. Look, now they just do it online. But yeah. Yeah. They yeah. Wait for the man. So now they're, they're, they're waiting for not, the Amazon. Not, not, not Santa Claus anymore. It's <laughs> Amazon, the Amazon man. <laughs> Amazon is here. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's, that's so, right so um, I guess tis the season. Um, this time of the year, we're celebrating Christmas, but you have Hanukkah, you have um, Kwanzaa. It, I mean, it's so many holidays um, around Christmas that we're all celebrating something. So, right. and a lot of the um, holidays revolve around spending money right. and buying gifts and some can be very emotional because this is the time of season where it can be a happy occurrence or occasion or a sad occurrence and both can cause you to spend money uh, but i want to start doing something a little bit different i want to start using stats to, su- to support what we're saying right so i think sometimes numbers can get to the root of the matter and at least pierce that heart so i'm looking at some data right here and it's coming from uh, I think it's coming from Lending Tree. I started leaning to the laptop, so my wife's like, get back to that mic, boy. <laughs> it says, how much credit card debt do Americans have? Americans' total credit card debt balance is $1.079 T trillion, T trillion in the third quarter of 2023. And that's according to the latest consumer debt report from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. That is high. That's a lot yeah. of money that we're running out and spending. And I know this. It's, it's been crazy spending stuff because we've been at home a lot more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I spent more. And <laughs> the, spend uh, more. a lot of the media outlets saying that the spending is going to be above pre-pandemic. Yep. Almost like where it was pre-pandemic. Yeah. So, which means people are going to be spending a lot. And the national uh, well, I, I retail... Was, I, I wasn't finished Okay, yet. I'm so sorry. No, no, no problem. I just paused. Okay. And that's up from $887 billion in quarter two of 2022, a 20-year high. So, right. that means that people spending... Yeah. Guess what the average car, car holder has in the credit card balance? How much? $658. 600 6, I'm sorry. They wish it was six hundred. Yeah. <laughs> to go out and spend some more, right? <laughs> six thousand five hundred and sixty-eight dollars in credit card debt in quarter two of twenty twenty-three. That's and that's up from five thousand nine hundred sixty-three. So you can see we just spending money. We be spending more and more and more. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Your numbers. So the uh, National Retail Federation averaged that last year people spent on average. Each family, $826. Easy. 500 of that was just gifts. So the rest was decorations and parties and things mm-hmm. like that. And, um, yeah, find me some new friends because ain't nobody giving no spend no five hundred dollars on me. Let <laughs> <laughs> me find me some friends. I can spend some. How much is that? 500. Okay. So you should not spend. Well, let me put it like this. They recommend that you spend only like 1.5% of your your income on on Christmas. Somebody will say, is that gross or net? 
whatever's what? in your pocket, you're and taking you know, home. And that doesn't sound like a lot, 1.5%. That's what they recommended. But they only saying that to keep people from overspending. Spending. I wonder if that's like a number they use knowing they're going to spend more. Like, you know, like saying, I'm going to give you 10. No, you're going to come back and ask for 10 more. You right. I'm going to give right. you 20. Right. Because I know you're going to want this. So it's, maybe it's like a, it's probably not, it's probably true to the word. But, you know, just think about that. Why they're going to undershoot me because I'm going to come back and I'm going to go out and spend more. It's probably not the case, but that's just my way of thinking. You know, shoot low and aim high. Yeah. <laughs> now, think about that. They said last year was $800 mm-hmm. per family. This year, Uh-oh. they're expecting almost 1000 per family on gifts, decorations, parties. That wow. some people that's that's a lot of money, a thousand dollars. But you think about what you buying your kids, a thousand dollars don't even come close to the of the high electronics, the phones, all of that. It ain't just kids though. It's about well, spouse. yeah. It's what you getting me? Yeah. What you, what you getting me? <laughs> <laughs> She look at me like I'm crazy, like, oh, uh, next topic. <laughs> and they saying that parents are spending at least two two hundred to two fifty per child we have every done, year. I know this sounds crazy, but for a long time and we have not let inflation change our mindset. My mama always let us give us a hundred dollars when we was younger, right? And then, you know, we started doing the gift exchange in our family. And it's been the same amount every year, 30 bucks per person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It has not changed since no. I married you. Have you? No. Now, you think about that. You would think, oh, the inflation, 40 bucks, 60 bucks. <laughs> it's, it's been $30 every <laughs> single year. <laughs> so you think about that. Over 34 years, that number has not changed. <laughs> the sickest family no. do not do inflation very they, well. <laughs> no, they do not uh, calculate inflation mm-hmm. rate in that. No. It's, it's $30. That's it. That's that, all you're going to get. Wow. So I guess all of this is to say that we have to be mindful. Very mindful. Yeah. Be mindful. Don't be part of that statistic. This is the time. I love this time of the year because it's getting cooler. The excitement, the Christmas shows, the Christmas music. Right. And you, you can get easily get caught up right. and be out there in the stores. And you think you're getting a sale. Mm-hmm. Some of that stuff not really on sale, but right. they make it look like a sale. True, true. That's very true. And you think you getting something, all the coupons, all the sales. Sign, I mean, the the commercials are off the chain already. Yeah. Yeah. It was like that before um, Halloween. Yeah. And Christmas decorations was out before Halloween. They just skip right over of Thanksgiving. Yeah. You're and right. Right. it's 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 getting to be too much. Yeah. The, the commercialization of Christmas is getting to be too much. And back in the day when we were little, you remember the days you used to make your Christmas gifts yep. and make little yep. stuff and your mama just loved it. Yep. I know people are like, you lost your mind. Nobody better not make me nothing. But yep. it, you have to consider, is it worth it? Because I know with our boys, when they were little, oh, man, I wanted that because my mom always made sure we had a wonderful that's, that's Christmas. Oh, stuff. my goodness. Yeah. So we made sure that, that the boys had the best of the best of the best. But you know what? I would get mad because Christmas Eve, they only playing with one thing. Yep. And all that money you spend on everything else, they could care. You got to play with all those toys. <laughs> yeah. stuff. They can't find pieces, parts. <laughs> Batteries did Bro, run an hour. Yeah. Because <laughs> they left it on. <laughs> and then you done ran around to all these stores looking for that stuff. Yeah. And they only yeah. playing with one thing. Yeah. And it used to make me mad. But it was my fault because they had a, the list and I fulfilled the list. Well, we fulfilled the list. And then I got mad because they weren't playing with all that stuff. They only picked the one thing that they liked and yeah. that's all they played with, which was Kids. I mean, yeah, kids. kids. Be kids. You know, like you get a box, you're going to play with a box. You get a part yeah. of the bands, they're going to bring on the bands. Yeah. They yeah. choose their happiness. We tell them to choose it for them. That's right. that's part of the problem. We're trying to choose what we think the kids are going to want or what we want our kids to have. Mm-hmm. It's almost like saying they want to show more and do more, but end up paying more in the end. Right. So right. we got to be more reasonable about how we're going about the, our finances of our family. You know, one thing I always say, you know, um, finances is something that's in every household. Whether you have it or you don't, it's still in every household. Yeah. You know, in case if I don't have a job, it's still about the finances. Yeah. 
you know, because you're going to get a job in order to do things in life. So we got to understand what we're doing once we want to receive it and manage that to what we think is feasible. And sometimes what we think is feasible is not always the greatest. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you got to sometimes seek wise counsel or, you know, don't look around at everybody else. Look at your household. Mm-hmm. Look mm-hmm. what you can and cannot do. It may not be the best. Uh, you may not be com- compar- comparing. You may be comparing yourself to somebody else, and that is wrong to do mm-hmm. because you could be trying to outdo somebody else, and they could have the means to do that. Why mm-hmm. you don't? You gotta keep that in your your, your own four walls. Or they don't have the means, and they, they and and they making it look like they do, and yep. they just as is is in financial trouble yep. as you are. That's, so yep, that's you see that a lot. You yeah, know, people want yeah. to have that image of we're doing great, and they go in the house and they crying like, girl, I'm gonna pay this bill. Right, right. So just, just stay, just search within your own heart, do your own finances and stuff to make sure you're not living outside the means what you can afford. Um, because what's going to happen is, come January, mm. that bill is due. Because you know, after the New Year's, it's like a huge letdown because we were so high with the yep. excitement of everything Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and then this big letdown after New Year's. And then that bill start coming in. Well, you know oh what, my you goodness! You know what happened at New Year's? Come Valentine's Day, so you kind of like roll January into February. My yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got like we got Christmas, we got Thanksgiving, we got Christmas, we got Valentine's Day. You got like bam, 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 and you got those bills start to increase. Next thing you know, you got two thousand dollars debt looking at you like, oh, how am I gonna pay for that? Right. You know what I'm saying? So we got. Right. We got I was telling somebody the other day. We gotta manage our expectations. Yeah. I was telling somebody the other day. Um, I was working on the client, and I said, um. He says, "Well, I guess because it's Thanksgiving and Christmas, I really want to know how much I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We just started with him, right? Um, how much I can. I'm gonna be able to spend. I said. I said. I understand that. I said, but use your spending engagement this month to build next year. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. focus on like you know whatever you spend. You say okay, you get your receipts and say oh we spend five hundred dollars. That's your amount that you're gonna target next year. So now you can start saving for next year." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So a lot of times we know we don't really know how much we're going to spend. We just go ahead and do it. Right. You surely you really should know what you're going to spend well in advance. Mm-hmm, you know, I'm mm-hmm. going to spend three hundred dollars on each kid. Boom, done. And start saving that amount well in advance. Not like saying, uh, let me get this child anything they want, and then you next thing you know, it's it's way out, way too much. So what I told him, say what you're spending for Thanksgiving, Christmas. That's your budget for next year. That's our starting mm-hmm, point. Mm-hmm. You can at least know. It may not be the exact number. Mm-hmm. Maybe kind of low. Maybe kind of high. You don't know. But at least you have a number you can target towards. What you building towards in 2024? He went, oh man, I didn't think about that. I said, you gotta start somewhere, right. and you start this year to prepare for next year. Mm-hmm. 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 So, it, so we just wanted to get on here and and start um, talking about the yep. holidays because they write upon us yep. and and people are already out in the stores they already buying things they already catching the sales i mean all the stores are having early sales and they even calling them black friday sales and black friday not until next week but they already calling them black friday sales they so. started doing it earlier this year too yeah it was like you know uh, i mean everyone's getting on the um get your sales out the way early so, mm-hmm. like, so they can get the money in their mm-hmm. pocket mm-hmm. sooner Mm-hmm. I mean, you think about it. I mean, sales are coming faster and sooner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, is it good for us? Yes, but you also got to make sure that I, I tend to look at our, the product and then wait to see if they're going on sale and see if they marked it up or it's actually in sale. Mm-hmm. But you know how to do jewelry stuff sometimes. He's like, yeah. that, that ring was $500 and now it's $800. you saying it's a discount? <laughs> yeah, right. discount after, after I jacked it up. You know, so you really got to like market those things because in some stores you can like, you know, online you can tag it to to, to watch it. And see if it drops down, then buy ones at a low price type thing. You know, we got we got travel this year. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be traveling. That's another expense. You got more kids. It's gonna cost you more money. Mm-hmm. You know, hotel stay, staying with your your, your parents and your friends. All that is, is gonna consume money. Right. It is because even if you're not you're staying with family and not staying in a hotel, you still spend the money because they want to go out and do things yep. and all mm-hmm. dinners it's gonna and cost. it's gonna cost. It's so gonna cost. just just start giving thought to that yep. before you get caught up in it. Because once you get caught up in that whirlwind, it's hard to get pull yourself out. So just give thought to that. This is why we wanted to do this podcast is to have people start thinking. About, about the holidays right. and maybe even coming up with some right. sort of ideas on how they're going to handle it. So we're going to do a um, part two to this um, Christmas holiday 
spending. <laughs> Santa Claus is in town. <laughs> we're going to do a part two, and we're going to um, have some suggestions on um, how to uh, strategize making it through the holidays yep. and not going completely broke right. and then feeling bad about it afterwards. All right. So, listen, you can find us on our podcast for Gifted Generations at um, Gifted Generations dash LLC dot com slash podcast. That's actually our website. And there's tons of stuff on our website that you can also find coaching the app, the Bags of Money app. Also, you can find us on Facebook. We are Gifted Gen LLC. Instagram, we are GIF, G I F dot G N, GIF dot Gen. YouTube, you can just research us at Gifted Generations LLC. And you can find, and also on Twitter, our handle is Gifted Gen 2019. And then you can find this podcast on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and our radio under Financeology 101. And, you know, just uh, let you know that, you know, this is a good time to download, if you have an Android app, it's not out yet, to download our financial app that monitors your money. Uh, from day to day, once you put your frequency in on income and expenses, it pre probably that, that check-in balance for you automatically. You can go down a few weeks down the road and see how much you have in your account based on your spending habits. It's called Bags of Money. Download it today on Google Play. It's for you. Any, any last words? That's it. We appreciate everyone and have a wonderful and safe. Happy holidays. Thanksgiving. We go, we're not going to skip Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Anyway. We got stick. We going in. We going in order. Okay, here. we gonna go Thanksgiving, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a safe and wonderful Thanksgiving. Guess Thank I've you. Been, guess I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Good night. Well, thank you for tuning in to our podcast, Financeology One Hundred and One. I hope you enjoyed this session, and the information provided will assist you on your financial journey. Until next time, be financially engaged.